Sent Hard AF Seltzer is now live in over 1,200 locations across the United States. We're now available in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, Ohio, and Texas. Go to hardafseltzer.com today, click on the store locator, enter your city or zip, and find the nearest location closest to you. Damn, JBs. We got lots going on in the oh. world today. Oh. My God. Take that. Take that. Right. <laughs> oh, boy. Right. Off the top, though, before we get to Diddy and his whereabouts, apologies to Kate Middleton, our little princess out there. We all speculated on what happened to her, including us. I thought she was dead at a certain point. Yeah, we said And she dropped stroke. a video. We yeah. have no idea. Yeah. And then it's cancer. That's not a good one. That's Colostomy. not a fun one. Yeah, you said BBL. Seabag. Yeah, BBLs was out there. Mask Singer. Yeah, <laughs> well. They were mask, all out there. Mask Singer would have been worse. I know. It's just all the theories yeah. were out there. Yeah, so they were out I'm there. A, I'm a bitch. <laughs> and I'm sorry, but what I will say about Kate yep. is that is the motherfucking, I mean, a badass bitch. Meghan Markle could never. Sure. Meghan Markle could never yeah. um, even handle things in that way ever. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, uh. Um. I think that the I think that the palace made it worse. I'm going to be honest. I yeah. think their PR person is 80 years old. I think the king is about to die. You know, I mean, I think everyone in that world, as it is here, mm -hmm. is just real old and out of touch. And so the way that they were handling it really made it worse than it needed to be. Yeah. All the weird Photoshop and the fake people walking and all of this, like they they could didn't do her any favors. Silence yeah. is what she wanted, mm -hmm. and they were trying to use their old school methods. Yep. From way, way back in the day. And they weren't they weren't flying anymore, right? And she was like, God damn it. Yeah. Do my hair. Let's fucking go. She wrote hey. it herself, is what and I she, heard. She got out there and did it herself yes. on her own. And, and she went full Oliver Anthony. She and said, it I'll just started, set up a, a phone. And, we'll and it, do it started with Thank you so much mm -hmm. for all of your support and concern. Boom. Fuck you. I have cancer. Yeah. But thank you, by the way, for uh, allowing my family yeah. to deal with this, like the way that she was saying it, not with a hint of shade, but it was, which was like, thank you for allowing my family to deal with this in a, privately for my young children yeah. and making sure that everything's okay. It I'm was a okay. nice fuck you. It was a really nice fuck you. That's how you do it. Take notes, Meghan Markle. Megan has been dreaming for cancer <laughs> since she fucking started dating Harry. Bob, shut the door back there. Uh, there's a general in the other room for the next show. Things are going to get wild today. Right. It's going to get wild in here today. Um, so she has been dreaming of something. When she saw Kate <laughs> handle things in this way, she was like, I was trying everything. I was like, somebody asked about the color of my baby. I couldn't wear red. You know what I mean? Like I was trying everything. Yeah. And then this just yeah. comes up with cancer. I know. I know. And does it in a way that she could never. Graceful, so, made her more beloved, everything oh, else. Can't wait and then for all her. of us are like, I'm sorry. I We're know. all going to hell. Okay? We're all going to hell. I know. But again, they did. We, we both said too, like we weren't even paying attention until. 
Um, they're fuckery with Photoshop and, so and the videos and the body until an doubles. Until old person and, tried yeah. to be like, I've, you know, old PR moves. So I'll send this to the press. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, don't, no, don't. Just don't, don't post anything. And she was sick and couldn't deal with it. And she's such a company woman that they were like, we need you to take credit for this Photoshop. And she's yeah. like, fine, just stop. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the other part, too, was uh, during the video, she did have the ring on, which was missing from the, the photo. And, you know, remember I said that seemed weird as well, because that also made people speculate that there was an affair going on and all the other shit. And it, they just made it worse. Either way, prayer hands up to Kate Middleton and emojis and all that stuff. OK, yeah. we're sorry. We're losers and we're all going to hell over here. Yeah. Now, will Diddy be there before us? Maybe. Maybe he might be there before us. Oh, Bob. Oh, Bob. 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 God, we've, we've got a lot of clips today to play. Go ahead and play this video here. But I don't even know what this is. Just some interesting. It's just a video that's resurfaced. So it's added some, I guess, potentially new context. Well, there's a lot of videos that are resurfacing that, that add context. Go ahead and play this one. I haven't seen this one. For those who, ha- who don't know who the uh, young gentleman on the left is, that is a young, fresh-faced Justin Bieber. Sure is. Very young. Very, very young. Very 15, young. 14 years old. Willing Lip. to do whatever, probably, for a career. Wow. Come Lips on. as soft as ever. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Play it. Uh, of course. You got any volume here? No, for us. Oh, there it is. There Bob, you had it. We had it. 48 hours. Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, They're having the times of their lives, like, like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but, um, oh. it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, oh God. Bob. Oh boy. I, Bob. I, I have Stop. been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when, you know, he, he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. Oh, oh no. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we going to go <sighs> full. Buck full crazy. I'm going crazy. Oh, no. So, all right, let's let's rewind uh, from here then. Usher was on Howard Stern mm-hmm. uh, recently, and he was talking about uh, being at Diddy's house when he was 15 years old. And he said, how crazy was it? And he goes, well, saw a lot of shit I probably shouldn't have at 15 years old. And Stern was like, well, was there women? Was there sex and everything else? And Usher was like, you know, I don't really want to comment on it, but uh, it was crazy. Uh Um, This has been going on in different realms here for months. So I'll go back to the Cat Williams interview on Club Shay Shay. Um, Even he was just like, uh, what did did he call him a dick demonic or is it demonic dicks? I believe, which I never heard that phrase before, but that they were all about did he down this year? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't heard Live Under a Rock, all of his homes were raided yesterday by the feds. And uh, they're looking into sex trafficking, illegal firearms, drugs, uh, and a potential murder, allegedly. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. Now, Diddy's kids were arrested at the L.A. home. Um, apparently they were in on it or at some of these parties or something like that. Uh, they were released, um, and Diddy was on a flight to Antigua, or at least his plane was. Uh, TMZ did have footage of him pacing outside the Miami airport okay. uh, as things were going down here. Uh, TMZ reported today, if you want to look this up, uh, Bob, on TMZ, maybe about two hours ago. Uh, so here's the footage of him just walking around pacing at the airport yesterday. Mm-hmm. Not sure what happened or if the plane was stopped, but two hours ago, TMZ reported that uh, they did talk to him. However, they let him go. Okay. Not really sure what the conversation was like or why. Um, and then uh, earlier, Steven Crowder called his, his pilots about an hour ago said, where's Diddy? And uh, he hung up the phone and said, I can't tell you that. This is a wild, wild story. And it feels like this has been in the background for a while. We did 
a show called Surviving Diddy, yeah. what, four months ago? Yeah. When those allegations came out, he settled that lawsuits with his ex-girlfriend in uh, under 24 hours. Didn't he blow up Kid Cudi's car? Blew up Kid Cudi's car that was yeah. in there. The Multiple wildest murders, shit. I'm sure. It, yes. I uh, mean, he killed Tupac, right? Rumored. Rumored. Um, there's, never, there's, there's a lot of rumors. I've so. never fucked with Diddy. Diddy fucking sucks. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> I think, As a person, sure, but if we put on the Essentials mm -hmm. right now, you would fucking no. bop, dude. I'll, yeah, I'll you would. West Coast, bro. You would bop, dude. No, no. And well, I tell you what, we'll do it for Thursday's episode. We'll do it because we could be at the end here. Um, I want to hear <laughs> Puff Daddy's music one more time. We'll do it on Patreon on Thursday. Go through the hits, mm -hmm. and then that'll be the last time until all of this shakes out, and we'll see where we land on that. Mm hmm. But this will be to prove Delco wrong about how many bangers he actually had. Oh, fuck yeah. It's dude. endless. Uh, I mean, it's absolutely up. endless. Yeah. No, not even that. Great one. Not even great that song, one. Though. It's a great it's song. Like, I mean, you got to try, like, sampling the police and shit like that. And, with uh, Mace? Yeah. 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 Oh, I my mean, God. Fuck, with, uh, with Biggie, dude. Victory, uh, the, the R. Kelly song. I don't really <laughs> fuck with Biggie, though, so. I, I don't. Really? Either. I don't fuck really? Biggie or Diddy, no. So the first like, two, well, it was a third album that I didn't like from, uh, but it was after he's dead, so who knows what was what really went into that. But the first two albums were incredible. Okay. Yeah. For, for Biggie Smalls. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure if you put them on right now, I'd be like, oh, okay, you know. I think the difference is Tupac had like 12, 15 albums or whatever the fuck it was right. where B.I.G. only had two albums. Um, he just didn't have the work ethic. And it was in that movie, if you saw the movie. And but. his best song is a remix with Miley Cyrus. Well, here, here's the other part, too, is uh, going through the catalog, which we'll play on Thursday on Patreon. We'll go through all of it. A lot of them were samples, and that was kind of the knock on Diddy for, you know, 10, 15 years, where all these huge hit songs used to be hit songs in a different era, and he just remixed all of them and sampled them and, you know, got rich off of it. Uh, how rich did he get? Billion dollars. He had Sean John. He had uh, Bad Boy cl uh, Records, clothing line, all the other stuff, Ciroc Vodka, uh, as well as uh, a million artists under his label. And shit, it's, it's fucking endless. His empire was endless. Um, yeah. So the allegations, like from the lawsuit that kind of started this ball rolling, there was so many things in there that you kind of can't let them settle that out of court. Do you know what I mean? The things that she was saying is kind of like, you know, sure you got him to pay, but it was out there. So now they have yeah. to look at it, right? If it wasn't kids, like minors, then I would be like, this is just some gangster ass shit and fucking sure. Tyga could never. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, now you got but minors involved. So Bob, go to your. Now it's not cool anymore. Go to your Twitter DMs and yeah. uh, and play those links in order there, um, because people kind of broke it down as far as like the lawsuit goes. So start with uh, yeah, the guy with the mustache. I don't know who this is. I didn't realize how controlled the music industry is until I made this chart. See, I wanted to know how many of this last year's top 100 songs were produced by Universal Music Group whose CEO is Lucien Grange, who was directly named in the recent P. Diddy lawsuit that alleged that he has hundreds of hours of video footage and audio recordings of all of this illegal stuff going on, providing sex. laced alcoholic beverages to minors and sex workers, yep. uh, drugging and sexually assaulting people, underage girls, shootings, all kinds of drugs and firearms, and sketchiest of all, these crazy parties being hosted in houses wired up with secret cameras in every room, like Jeffrey Epstein style. There's photographic evidence included in the lawsuit. Pause if you want to read this. And the lawsuit directly alleges that CEO of Universal Music Group, Lucien Grange, was attending these parties and had direct knowledge of all of the crimes, or at least some of the crimes that I just mentioned. And again, this is all allegedly according to this lawsuit, which has a lot of evidence to support it. And Lucien Grange is the CEO of Universal Music Group, which is massive. And okay, you can, can I ask a question real quick? Go ahead. Can, do you notice the line that's highlighted? Uh, which one? In this Wikipedia page that this guy posted? No, what does it say? 
it's, he's highlighting certain things. He highlighted all that evidence, right? Yeah. Of yeah. Like, oh, they're sleeping with underage yes. drugs, blah, blah. Yes. This is the line that this influencer or whatever highlighted on, his, on Lucian Grange's Wikipedia page. Okay. Grange grew up in a Jewish family. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, this, what is is he, what, this is... Which way is he going with that, though? Right. Right? Right. What is the importance of that even to this? Yeah. Uh, well, Jews around the world. Right? Jews around the world is what he's what he's getting to oh, later, this guy. Okay. Um, but the reason why I, I sent you this one, Bob, is this is a totally different lawsuit than the one that that girl filed. So... You, you're not having just that girl, because that girl's lawsuit was fucking insane. Um, this lawsuit is insane, but outlines the same exact behavior. Now, one thing I wanted to point out, when he got to the digital stuff with the pictures in there, in the videos, um, I was in a lawsuit five, six years ago, I forget which one it was, but um, uh, that was the first time that you could use digital evidence as part of a lawsuit. And Bob, your mom would actually know uh, a lot about this. So yeah, right there. Maybe five or six years ago, you could start to include pictures or recordings or text messages, uh, anything digital, to a lawsuit like this. Now, you're it's dropping just fucking. Do you want to re upload? Yeah. What's okay. going on? Yeah. I think the internet went out. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so, with this, this guy right here, uh, you're putting in pictures of things that are going on. So, it's. Not like, oh, hey, I, you can debunk these. Right, but it is a, it's a lawsuit. I, I suppose Why you, is it, you yeah. could debunk, like, so it says that Mr. Combs with an underage female. So I guess you would have to just debunk the identity of that woman. Or, right. or, or who is in this photo. Now, it's blurred out because, obviously, they're probably underage. That's what they do for shit like that, um, for pictures like this. But there is photographic evidence. You don't include that in the lawsuit if that... If it's not the person, I mean, you could get in some deep shit over that. Um, so, look, these two lawsuits are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. um, and then three more women came out afterwards and uh, also filed very, very similar lawsuits. Could some of them be a cash grab? Yes. Uh, feds raiding your fucking all your houses all over the country? That Probably not. Yeah, what was the raid? I think they have a list of like what the raid specifically is for. We'll play this second video okay. real quick, and then we'll go through the raid um, and what was in there. This is actually the lawsuit that got filed against him. It's 73 pages long. I've read most of it, and it is bad. Like, I'm talking Epstein-level bad. Allegedly gay Jeffrey Epstein-level bad. And there's screenshots, there's videos, and there's a lot of evidence of everything he has listed down here. It is, like, it's bad. All right, he you can press pause now. And so this is involving men as well as women here at this point. I don't know if these... Justin Bieber or whoever's underage on this, but, like, this is where shit gets off the rails to me, where... It's not just women in these lawsuits. It's also dudes who say that they were sexually abused as well. Is his son Christian Combs? Yes. So his son's listed on here as drugging and sexually assaulting a woman as well. Correct. Which is yesterday he was in handcuffs in the front yard of the L.A. house. So so is the other kid. And who knows what this is. Now, as a parent, could I imagine having parties and sex parties with drugs and with my kids and shit? No, no, not at all. Um, and that's fucking insane if this was happening at the same time and the kids were at the fucking house. It's all relative, though. Like, would we go to a brewery and drink with our kids? Yeah, right? Yeah. But that's just the kind of parties that Diddy has. So it's like, you know, <laughs> it's all, rel It's all you know, the levels change where... Yeah, you go... Depending you, on where you're at. You guys... Take the kids to Dripping Springs Vodka Distillery. Right, that's yeah. straight and, vodka we're and, drinking with the kids. And sure. did he takes his kids to a dirty, drug-fueled whore orgy. But that's because what he does. Right. That's what yeah. he does every day, and that's what he enjoys. And I like a vodka and an outdoor, you know, little sunset. So you're, you're saying he's sharing his hobbies with it's his just, kids. You, you know, guys, look. You guys like a little countryside distillery, and he likes Yeah, you got a meanwhile brewery. <laughs> you know? playground. Yeah. Anyways, um... Now, who brought this lawsuit, though? So here's the thing. There is so many that are filed currently that okay. 
all of these lawsuits that everybody's sharing all over TikTok and everything else are coming from like six to seven different people. And that's what makes all of this very, very tricky. Um, now, the last video to play here is uh, this dude who's uh, in the rap game, who's known all this shit forever. Well, three months ago, he did an interview where he said, hey, if I'm, well, I'll let right. you play yeah. it. But uh, this was three months ago. Need to build a spot over there in Bali for his boy Puffy. Because Puffy, need, I warrant Keefe D to take his ass over there. There's no extradition laws over there. So I'm warning you now, Puffy. Take your ass over there. Reggie Prediction. I know Puffy is smart enough, and he probably done already cleaned his houses. But sex, sexual predators, what do they do? What do... And we'd be like, damn, why? They treat their sex tapes like... Y'all yeah, remember that song, Me and My Girlfriend, that Pac did? You know what he was talking about? What was Pac talking about, y'all? Who are we our facts. Y'all really know what he's talking about? Hang on. For those of y'all know what he's talking about, he's talking about a gun, but mm -hmm. sexual predators is what hold on to their tapes. And cops know that. So I wouldn't be surprised if some storages or some of Puffy properties be getting raided real soon because they need to get to those tapes. They get one of those tapes with him with those little people that's been making the accusations. Woo, man. <laughs> Done. <laughs> but Puffy the type here, he'll blow his brains out, guarantee y'all. <laughs> or do like he did on that, that court screw uh, uh, lie, how he did. We know what you did, Puff. Misa told us. Nigga, you slit your wrist. He gonna do something stupid like that. All right, you can press yep. that. Yep, so that was from three months ago. Cat uh, Williams, again, I'll go back to the Shay Shay thing. He said it as well. Fucking Chappelle's been doing sketches about him for 20 years. I wish Did we he? could play it because it's so do I. Been trending uh, on Twitter. The yeah, Cambodian they're... breast milk and, uh, and all that other shit. Uh, look. I mean, it's it's wild as fuck. I've said on this show, like I got, I went to one of the white parties. I got to go to one of those parties. Did I see any underage shit? No, absolutely not. It was all celebrities and everything else. But I will say, uh, you can look the, you can look this guy up. It was at a guy named Ron Burkle, uh, his mansion in L.A. It was after an MTV Movie Awards. Uh, I want to say 03, 04, somewhere in there. Now, recently, Ron Burkle, uh, according to to Reddit and everyone else was also listed with Epstein in those guys. Mm. So does all of this entire fucking circle of all these fucking people tie together? Probably. What I can't figure out is why it's always underage kids and shit like that. I just oh boy. don't can, get it. Can I read you the headline that goes with this fun picture? No. Please. Go ahead. Yeah, please. Uh, first off, LOL. Um, I don't know who that is. Uh, right. But it says, uh, Clinton pal Ron Burkle. Uh -huh. Yeah, hit with racial discrimination suit. Yeah, right. Um, and then he got accused of the Epstein thing, and then you know he's been married a million times and all that other shit. And they were homies, so all of his parties used to be at this guy's house, um, and that was like the big L.A. mansion. It was the one where uh, it had the happy uh, Gilmore fountains in the background, or uh, what's the other one? Billy Madison, hmm. the, with the fountains in the thing, and you were like, "Holy shit, this property is amazing." Uh, I mean, he owns fucking everything this guy and in la i mean it's endless of the property he owns i think he was originally like a grocery store guy or something like that man this keeps just getting gnarlier what does this one say he owns neverland yes he bought no. Neverland. yes he did bought it bought come it on. he bought neverland come Shh. on or is he hiding in plain sight <laughs> you know i don't know be more on the fucking nose that, that's why it's like, really, 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 I, really, look, you're that dumb or, or they have a fed like Kanye said. Oh, mm. yeah. I kind of said it for, for a while, but that yeah, who's a fed the puff daddy was a fed. Um, really? I look, I don't know. I can't like my brain, oh, I can my say... brain shuts down with that last, like that was one too many for me. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, my brain yeah. shuts down with too many theories. Yeah. Uh, but what I can say, like, regarding the white parties and all that shit, it was all, you know, wall-to-wall celebrities, and that's kind of it. And then they cut it off at a certain time. Now, what happened in the house, who knows? You the, weren't the invited t- to that. No. Yeah. Like, I wasn't famous for that. Sh- I was famous for that shit. Like, um, but there was a bunch of events that I went to where, like, the party stopped at a certain point, and then they went somewhere else. Whatever the fuck happened there, I don't know, but I was never at a level of fame in my life to get to go into whatever the fuck that was or even be invited into that shit. So do I think all of this is probably connected and they're all doing crazy shit like this? So then Now, but do did, did, did you think anything at the time? No, and that's probably why nothing ever really came out. Um, but a lot of people, uh, Candace Owens included, is calling this the year of revelations. And that they're going to go after all these sexual predators uh, and their their behavior and all this shit for the rest of the year. We'll see. Uh, someone, another celebrity is named in the lawsuit as well. So some of them are like redacted or whatever. Prince Harry was, was named in one Prince of them. Prince Harry got dropped in there, but just for like being someone you could have access to at the white parties. And right. Like and that's that. what I was saying to him last night. He's like, I think that's why Epstein took so many pictures so that he could be like, Hey, I know this person come, you know, it co-signs yeah. for what you want to do or whatever. But yeah, the one, uh, but an extra assailant, I guess, uh, Cuba, Cuba. Ah, uh, wow. Lil Rod adds Cuba getting junior to sexual assault lawsuit. So Lil Rod is his bodyguard. If the bodyguard's flipping who's been with him forever like that, it's game over. Um, is I think like he's had the, the same Scarface staff. Scarface shit where they just like got everybody to flip who was like cool, cool with shit forever. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm not sure. And, th- and that's why all of this is uh, so wild. But if you're looking at it from the aspect of, let's say you're trying to get other people in or whatever. Um, I'll, sh- I'll share my example again. Like that was the greatest party I'd ever been to in my life. And I've said that on the show a couple of times because of that, everybody else probably had the same experience. So therefore when you're talking about puff daddy in regards to who he is and the parties and how nice he was in person and all that other shit, Everybody around said the exact same thing. So, yeah, everybody wanted to be there. You wanted to hang out with this guy. You wanted to go to the shit. You wanted to be involved in all the, uh, everything else. So over the years, you probably have everybody and their mother that's trying to cover up for this guy. Um, right. Because even at the same party, Kobe was there. And that was the party that Kobe walked out of. L- looked around and was just like, no, nah, man, I'm too good for this shit. I'm out of here. Yeah. Uh, and he was with his wife and, uh, and you know, bounced. But... Uh, Shaq was there and shit, Christina Aguilera. I mean, there's a fucking, I could name a, a million, got John Mayer. Uh, a million fucking people were at this thing. And when you left, yes, you told everybody how great it was, how great Puff Daddy was, how nice he was. Anything you wanted, he gave you personally. He chatted with you personally and all that other shit. So yeah, I think everybody was fine going along with it for years and years. And now that the party's over, it's like the great Gatsby. Or the feds know who to flip and how. But, yeah, true. Show this picture, then, of uh, Lil Rod, the red one, and Cuba. Oh, boy. Now, this picture, the room or whatever, it's red. The back, like the... Like the other, like the sex worker ones and stuff like uh-huh. that. So, so it's a red, red what's party. on the computer? It looks the white party turns into red party. It could. But, and that's, that's uh, some Amsterdam shit. Oh my, no, that's some fucking host extraordinaire. What a great host he was, too. He was the best. I mean, I know you were really defending him for a long time just then. Oh, 100%. Right then. Because I couldn't, I, it was like, a lot. Even not, not, it's not that, but when you go to this shit, no, I, there's I, no, I, no way I that you can picture this going on after staying there for, I think I was there roughly four or five hours. And you don't see anything, and you're like, all right, well, I just had the best time ever, and mm-hmm. so did the, no. my friends that I was with. Yeah. I didn't see any of the shit. Yeah, yeah. But there's also another, there, there, who, whatever Red happened party. in the house. Yeah. yeah. And that could have been this shit. And who knows? But I'm not Cuba Gooding Jr. either. <laughs> like, he was an Oscar winner at that point. I mean, this could be, this looks like a drunk Cuba, too. Just be like, man, right? Or no? Mm. I don't know. Uh, but this picture was in the lawsuit. Who's the other dude here? No, this was. It's a little rot, I thought, but this is. Maybe yeah. it's someone else. It's oh, someone else. I, look, okay. I, who knows? 
Um, but there's something blurred out on the computer screen there. It's just a low res picture. Okay. Yeah, it's old. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but then, if he is a Fed, why him? Why now? That he's a Fed, or or whatever. Like, let, let's take it from the. Let's say he's not a Fed. Let's say that's all made up or whatever. Informate why him right now? Um, the timing of all of this is uh, is strange. I know what? you just had that Nickelodeon doc come out. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's if you are calling it the the year of the reckoning or whatever Candace Owen said. But yeah. yeah, I think anytime there's an opening, like nobody wants to be the first, but Cassie, I guess, was the first and opened up a, you know, a lane for everyone else to go through, right? I don't know. It's um it's always like, why now? Why, why now with Weinstein? Like, why did everyone knew that too? Same thing. Everyone knew. Right. Yeah, and it I was just like, uh, and then same with, you know, I don't Bill know. Cosby. It seemed like everyone knew. Why now? Why now means what, where the pl- people are in their lives that they're able to go after them. Or it might be something more salacious. I just don't know enough to even <laughs> go down a conspiracy whole right so I, i'm not sure i'm sure people that have followed diddy or knew some rumors would know better of like why now i just don't well there's been a lot of whispers out there but it's you know mostly rappers and people on the inside and you know I, again this is a another interview where somebody else has said this is going to be the year of fucking revelations and I, i'll go back to cat williams and he goes it's all coming this year um, now, the latest one is from Candace Owens this morning. Uh, she's talking about uh, Crowder. She says, wait until they find out what he's been doing to his wife. I thought we saw that. Yeah. I never edited my opinion on Steven Crowder because I knew that everything would eventually be revealed. Uh, this really is going to be the year of revelations. Um, this is in regards to a story that's going viral right now with a former employee that he is suing. Um, for some crazy fucking shit. He basically, the guy quit. I was watching the video before we went on air. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. The guy quit because uh, the workplace was insane, like toxic, like actually toxic, not like Gen Z, this workplace is toxic. Right. Uh, and um, yeah, Crowder immediately was like, got him with the lawyers and was like, you got to sign this fucking NDA and double non-disparagement agreement and a fucking non-compete where you can't work in media for two years. And then, um, yeah, has been hitting them with, like, uh, C- C&Ds and everything else since then and basically trying to, like, bankrupt him and fuck up his life with lawsuits. Well, and you can. I mean, we're watching it with Trump right now. It's, it's the best way to do it. Uh, and uh, Lance Armstrong did it in the past. Um, he buried those motherfuckers overseas. Um, remember that uh, bicyclist and his wife? Mm-hmm. They knew everything. And yeah, they yeah. just kept suing over and over and over again until they had nothing. Um, Because you got to pay these legal bills. Uh, The Puff Daddy shit, though, is just so wild. I mean, what has a, I mean, I guess Cosby, but celebrity this big? Cosby, this is like an industrial scale, right? Yeah. Cosby was just like sneaking around in the dark doing it for himself. Right. Right. (laughs) Did he? Apparently. Yeah. Yeah, Apparently. So many names probably connected to this. Yeah, oh my like God! It's, it's got to be more endless. than Epstein. I bet Jay Z's sweating right now. Uh, Jay Z, yeah. So that he's been trending all day too, um, and they're saying, "Hey, dude, they're coming after you next." I what? I have no knowledge of anything about Jay Z, I, but I, I didn't about Puff Daddy either. So who fucking knows? Uh, but all of this shit—it's all billionaires doing this weird shit. And it's, are you just bored? And, are you just bored with life and you're like, all right, what's left, kids? And Alexander wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Very poetic, Bob. Yeah. Very poetic. It's about, that is about porn. Yeah. In a way. In a way. <laughs> in the only way, yeah. So now does, does Puff Daddy off himself like Epstein? Does he get Epstein? Does he... What do you do here? Do you believe that guy in the video who said that three months ago that he would kill himself? I, if I'm that rich and I'm a billionaire, same with Epstein, because we saw the problems he had. Um, he was inviting the lawyer to his cell for, I think it was the, the max was like eight hours a day to go over a case. 
And she admitted she would oftentimes just be hanging out with him for eight hours because there's nothing to discuss. Right. But that you're so bored and you're so miserable in jail because after being a billionaire and having everything for years, then you're stuck in this jail. I can't see him being there for the next 30, 40 years like R. Kelly. But does he go? Does he go to jail? If you know, like at this point, with all this shit coming down, he's the only one that really knows what happens. Uh, well, and obviously whoever filed these lawsuits, but he'll know, and he's going to have to make that decision for himself of, do I think I can get out of this? Because he was above the law at one point. He got away with murder. I mean, there was a murder trial, and what year was that, Bob? Um, Jennifer Lopez had to testify. Uh, Shine ended up taking the bid, and he got 12 years for it. Um, but it was a shooting in a club in New York City, and he got off of it. Where do you... It, it went to trial. This was a full trial. Um, just type in Puff Daddy trial. It was 2001. 2001. Okay, yeah. so he got off on murder. Now, his buddy that was with him didn't, and the rumor was that he, he had paid him off to say, hey, you're going to do this prison time, and I'll take care of you the rest of your life. Shine does get out of prison and has zero complaints and, uh, and never went after Diddy for Earth, it. So the shooting was in 99. He was acquitted in 2001. Right, yeah, I went to trial then. Uh, and that's when he was dating Jenny from the block, and she was at the fucking trial every day. So maybe if you think you're above the law after, you know, murder, you're like, all right, well, fuck. What's the rest of this shit? Who cares? Right. Or where can he go? Why can't he just take his plane somewhere and so then can't. not get extradited? Right. Well, he'd have to go to what did they say yesterday, Bob? Cape Verde. Cape Verde, which and, uh, I know, I don't know anything about. I think Antigua. Yeah, Cape Verde is Africa, I believe. No, uh, I think it's in the Caribbean, right? No. So go. I mean, Cabo instead of Verde is in instead Africa. of killing yourself, just go, go to somewhere. a country that that they can't extradite you. Like, was that guy real when he said Bali? I, I've never heard Bali as being a, a non. No. Right. I don't know. Can you get extradited in Bali? Because if not, that'd be a great place to, to kind of move all your money over to and live out the rest of your life. I think there are great places. Who was that? McAfee went to Belize, right? Yeah, Belize. But Does Belize have a Ooh. extradition? I, no. Okay. I don't think so. No, because I think they did. Uh, the marshal came and got him from Belize, right? I think so, so right? Okay. Yeah. They just didn't. Yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah. Ecuador. Ecuador is the only one that I know of offhand. I don't know the rest of them. Oh, his crimes, though, were in Belize. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. For McAfee? Yeah, so he was moving out there to just, like, get off the grid and be a fucking weirdo, but he committed crimes. The murders and stuff were in Belize. So that wasn't an extradition thing. He killed the guy who owned a bar at UCF. That's sweet. But that's not what they were looking for him for. No, no, it was because the guy was also down in Belize. Oh, okay. Oh. I believe. Uh, Bob, okay. what are the countries that you can't get extradited from? Uh, Non-extradition, China, Iran, North Korea, Russia. Let's look. Obviously. Not great. Any of those. Venezuela, Indonesia, Mongolia. Okay. Uh, uh, ironically, Ukraine, uh, Vietnam, most of Africa, it says. Okay. Huh. Where's that one director that like... Roman Polanski. Yeah. Where'd Polanski go? Uh, he's in France. Yeah, he went to like yeah. South of France. They just didn't because they were like, "This is not a claim to us." Yeah. Th okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but that was a different story. Yeah. Um, but so a stitch like I that. I don't know. You know, <sighs> none of these countries you just listed are great. I've never been to Indonesia, but the rest of them. You could find a little a little corner of the world, and you know, yeah, build something. You're a, still a fucking billionaire, right? Yeah, Afghanistan. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's some as places in Africa, right? Oh, Bhutan. Most of the Middle East. He could go to Qatar, uh, maybe Dubai even. He well, could go to Dubai? Uh, Dubai would, go. Yeah, Dubai would do it. I go. Mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to Dubai. Because at this point, I, if you're looking, and let's just go back to Trump because this trial's in New York. This trial will be in New York. This is the state of New York, by the way, on all of this. You're not getting out of New York. Uh, like, it's too liberal. Like, you're fucked. Any Me Too shit, any fucking, like, yeah. political shit, you're, you're going down there. There's no way he can think he can get out of this shit at this point. Wait, Taiwan? Really? Oh. That makes no sense. All right. It really doesn't. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, maybe because it's owned by China. Oh, yeah. Uh, here, I'm going to throw one out there. If he wants to uh, 
maybe declare a, a sort of sanctuary. Mm-hmm. Vatican City, no extradition treaty with the United States. Yeah. I think it's about time he hit the confessional and, uh, you know. Well, if he's into dudes, I'm just too, saying, you, know. you could you could hide out. Yeah. Also, the Maldives. Oh, my God, really? Oh, that's a great one. Well, shit. Case closed. I'd Morocco, go, yeah, too. Go there. Morocco would be kind of sick. No, Morocco's not great. It's not great. Uh, Mal- the, the Maldives, you, the, you got the winner there, Bob. Do I, I would do all the things and get the fuck out of there. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm just saying if, that's, I, I, and if say, your option is to kill yourself or lay low. In the Maldives? In yeah. the Maldives. Like, just do that. You're already halfway there. Yeah. Um, but but as far as like today's social media and everything else, he's too famous worldwide. That's it's not like he could dip in and out of a country and be like, oh, and shit. And, and there is no Dubai. He could go to Dubai as well. Okay. The UAE has no extradition. So I, I would go to those two: Maldives or, or Dubai. He's got enough money for it. And let's face it, the fucking heads of Dubai don't give a shit. What they commit sexual those crimes, crimes every day. Every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So every day. I say do that. Get yourself a little, you know. Yeah, uh, but it's wild. I shit, man. I fuck. What a wild. It's wild. My situation. again, like my mind goes crazy when it's like such a, um, like Bob was saying, like industrial. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A a farm type situation. A huge side business. A you know what I mean? Yeah. That's when I just go like, well, go, yeah. go. Cosby was just getting it for Cosby. That's what, yeah. And like that you go, or even Weinstein. It's like, yeah. that seems tale as old as time. Right. He's, he's, he's not getting it for other people. Yeah. That, that's my thing is like, you are going to d- risk this to get something for someone else. Sex trafficking wise, let's say. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All, all this is making people insane though. Right. Like. The whole Nickelodeon stuff that came out. Oh shit! They're going yeah. through the logo and they're like, "This looks I like know. Epstein's Island." I, I know. know. So I, you know what? Since you brought it up, we'll talk about it because uh, we just finished watching uh, Quiet on Set uh, on Net. Was it Netflix or HBO? It was HBO. Yeah. HBO. Um, everybody was talking about it. You and I decided to watch it. The first three episodes, I was like, "Meh, this is really a stretch here at this point." And then Drake Bell sat down right. from Josh and Drake, and I was right. like, "Oh no." Oh no, Pickle Boy! Was, right, Bob. Can you pull up a picture of Pickle Boy for the audience? Uh, should we have seen this coming? Yes. Although, uh, yeah. Yeah, Pickle Boy, dude. Pickle there Boy. There he is. Top, top left. Pickle Boy. Yeah. Top left. Yeah, that was the guy who uh, sexually abused Drake Bell over and over and over again. And at one point, he uh, stuffs a pickle. Through a hole in a door, it looks like, like a, a glory, glory hole, hole. and uh, Ray Romano's on the other side eating it. Takes a bite with uh, ecstasy. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So <laughs> that's great I don't pickle. Know. Uh. I don't know if Nickelodeon, as a whole, I mean, they really tried to rope in Nickelodeon in this, they right? Got that foot logo. But it was yeah, it was Pickle Boy, and then. The who's other the, stuff. Who's the big? Who's the big? Dan dude? Schneider. Schneider. Yeah. Is a creep, right? A, Why did he sit down for that interview? Oh, that other one. Yeah. I think because he was like, well, nothing. You know, he's sort of like, in comparison, I don't look that bad in this. Yeah, right? he never so raped So he anybody. was like, I just need to apologize to some people. He's just like, I used to just give them massages. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Because really, like, they didn't expose anything about dan schneider except for him being like an asshole misogynist right like that writer it didn't didn't feel like there was enough foot fetish right it didn't feel like there was enough in there to really damage him but then when when pickle boy pops up with drake bell then it's another story right and then drake goes the only one that was like helping me and on my side was dan schneider Schneider. so like i think dan felt like he was good so he sat down for that interview, right? How bad was the interview? I didn't watch it. Um, he was just we, apologetic the whole time. It, it's like almost incriminating. It himself. was weird. We can't show it, right? Mm-mm. Okay, so it was he. He's goatee glasses, Dan Schneider now, and he was just like, I owe some people some big apologies, 
And he also, this was a little bit of shade. I don't know if you noticed this in the interview, but he was like, I also need to apologize to all the other people around that saw it. And it made them maybe uncomfortable, kind of putting the blame on, do you know what I mean? Being like, there was a bunch of people around, but he was doing it in the form of an apology, right? I'm really sorry to everyone else that saw what I was doing and didn't, like, tell me. Right. Uh, Is this him now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Strange. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the first three episodes, I was like, eh, this feels kind of like nothing. And then, uh, and then the fourth one hits, and you're like, oh boy. Yeah. Oh no, pickle boy. Yeah. Pickle boy, dude. I we knew it was going there. I just didn't uh, want it. Again, like I didn't want it to be true. It's the case of like buying Neverland Ranch, right? <laughs> like you're just either so delusional, or you're just like hiding in plain sight so that people won't assume mm-hmm. i don't know i don't know yeah there's that pickle through the door there oh boy when it went through the door hole i was like oh no also like the videos oh, of like no. ariana grande oh. trying to get juice out of a potato and like Man, that's yeah just... were you loving that and then Oopsies. water all over that i don't even know what that clip was from this is do you know what this is like uh <laughs> do you know what elsa gate is no Elsa Gate is, uh, you know, that shit on YouTube. It was mostly a couple years ago where, like, things would pose as kids' shows. Okay. Or kids' videos. And oh, then they, and they would go yeah, into yeah, yeah. Do, do weird, like, not, oh, not like straight up porn or sex, but like weird, right. sexual. But it looked exactly like it. And yeah, so it yeah, got yeah. onto YouTube. And they're kids. like dressed like Spider Man or, yeah, yeah, or yeah, Elsa yeah, yeah. was a lot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there was also stuff where they were doing, like, like graphic surgery on cartoon characters yeah and sh- yeah and crazy shit i guess this is just that but the 90s and early 2000s right like, right the where same type of thing they were left to their own devices nickelodeon like execs never fucking rolled through and they were just like what and it was it was like young you know like how editors will like put in something to yeah. be like a fucking see if i can get away with it that's like, what that's this felt what like it, yeah 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 it definitely, it definitely felt like, how far can we go? It felt like Dan Schneider himself had a lot of inside jokes where probably shit was cut from from uh, the network. And he was like, I wonder if I can slide this in and say fuck you to these guys, you know? Right. Again, if it's not kids, let's go. Sure. But Pickle Boy, want. Pickle Boy was, was a lot here. It was a lot. And Ray Romano eating the pickle. Oh, and, oh. But it's like, why did Ray Romano do that? You know, like he it doesn't seemed... know. It's it was it's a kids thing, and you know, at the time, glory holes weren't very popular. They are now, okay. But or it's the same thing as like when you go to see a kids movie and they put in like a, jokes for the adults. Yeah, that the kids won't really get, but at least the adults can also enjoy. Uh-huh. Maybe they thought they were doing that. Like, the kids aren't going to get what this is, but the parents might have a chuckle. But the parents will have a laugh. So, who knows? Maybe. <laughs> who knows? Maybe not. Uh, also, I uh, want to bring up a, a unfortunate case of bad timing here today for uh, Will Smith again. God damn, this guy. Right. Um, man. So, bad boys. <laughs> right. Obviously trending all day. Yesterday, today. Forgot, that's the name of his new movie, and they decided to drop the trailer today, which was probably a horrific PR mistake, and uh, I watched was it this it great? morning. I... Now, will Diddy be on this soundtrack? Because Shake Your Tail Feather from Bad oh. Boys 2 with Nelly oh, and I'm Julie. so glad you asked. That's the first thought that went through my mind, where I thought it would had to be scored with a Bad Boys song, right? right. Had to have been. Um, this was not, I don't know if it was a last second decision, whatever it was, but horrific timing. What if it's a, go- a guerrilla marketing scheme? It's great timing. <laughs> it's great timing. Well, watch the Sorry. trailer on your own and Mar- decide if you like it. Will Smith I, I, and Martin Lawrence take down a sex ring? No. Mm-hmm. No, it's not in this one. I watched the trailer this morning. It's not great. It's not great, but. Were any of them great? Yeah. Or were we just no. different? The first one held up. Okay. And it was Taya Leone in her prime, and you were like, yeah, yeah, the first one held up. Okay. You got to really feel for Big Sean, though. You know, Friday releases the first song in years. Yep. 
uh, just gets steamrolled by Kendrick and Future. I know. And then yesterday, can't even celebrate his 36th birthday because he just gets overshadowed by Diddy. Every single time with that guy, you know? <laughs> Who Every celebrates their 36th time. birthday? No one. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, celebrities do, obviously. Oh, right, right, right. You know, right. 36 is a big year. I'm, I, we'll uh, see when I hit it in two years. I don't know what we're going to do. But, sure. Um, we'll find out. We'll do something. Sure. We'll do something out there. But, yeah, he can't catch a break. Did you like I, – I, by the way, big fan of that new uh, future Kendrick Lamar song. No, that's like my least favorite song on the album. I love the future album, though. Of course you do. I like the song. I like you the name anything album. in this world, and it'll be just pure hatred. I just said no. I love the album. He I said don't he like loves it. Least favorite song on the album. Do you know what song's number one in the world? I don't like Kendrick, though. I, I understand, but you – I don't love a Kendrick either. Number one song in the world right now is, is that song. And he kind of buys his own hype. I don't, I don't like it. Well, he went scorched earth against Drake and uh, and J. Cole, which is nice. He's so making at least me like have, J. Cole's now? Oh. At least we have uh, something fun and flirty here for the future. I don't think Drake will personally write a diss track against Kendrick Lamar. I think he learned his lesson with Pusha T. I don't think he's coming after Kendrick Lamar. Right. Well, J. Cole can. J. Cole definitely can. <laughs> now, that motherfucker's, Yeah. Uh, the, he's great, but I don't think Drake is going to do it. Drake's going to sit this one out. Um, I guess him and Future are no longer friends after this. Uh, what I was wondering, though, and it's a serious question, th this, th the album is loaded, and it rocks. And, uh, again, every song on iTunes is 1 through 16 on that goddamn thing right now, uh, and it's good. Um, if you're a player... You usually play music in the locker room for, you know, NFL or, or NBA like, like or everything player. else. A yeah, play yeah. both. Oh, oh, like an, an NBA. Yeah. Okay. I, it would be hard because this album is so big right now to not play this in front of Russell Wilson. And then if you're Russell Wilson, uh, you've got to hear Future all the fucking time. You'd be like, God damn I it. I bet he's man. used to it. You think so? That's yeah. what I was wondering. Because I was that, like. That's a classic troll for Russell Wilson. Whenever they go to a different stadium, somebody plays Future. It happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And for him, it's uh, it's not great. The future dropped a banger of an album, so now he's got to live this out the rest. Also, of the summer. future has a bunch of kids, right? Like it, with multiple women. Tons. Like, it's not like it's just this one child that Russell Wilson is raising. Yeah, is it one or how many kids do they have? How many kids do they have? I think all of us are raising one of future's children, really. Yeah, Probably. Yeah. So they have one of future's children. Okay, gotcha. Um, and I'm just happy future actually put out a good album this time. Same. It's been a while. Same. I'm happy anyone has put out a good album uh, recently, so I'm amped. Um, obviously, that'll be overshadowed next next month when Taylor Swift drops a double album, and it's all that all right. anybody's talking about there. Well, Future is supposed to drop the second part of this album. When do you know? In like a month. I wouldn't do that next to Taylor's album, but that's to each his own. <laughs> do you think it's going to be the same own? audience? I don't know if there's a whole lot of crossover. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's crossover. It's not to be that. When it, we're going back to the Big Sean thing, there's just some waves that are too big. That it's like let's let let that one crash, and then At we'll try to catch the next headline, one. Well, yeah. First off, Taylor and Future have collabed before. You're kidding. Endgame, Taylor Swift, oh, and Sharon yeah. and Future. That's there's right. A, there's a stretch where Future was on anything. That's funny, man. And it's a great song. Yeah. I bury hatchets, but I keep maps of where I put them. Yep. Come on. It was a that banger, line. dude. Come yeah. On. yeah. It was a banger for sure. What Bob. a gem. It was yeah. a huge song, dude. Do you like the Rick Ross one? With Taylor Swift? No, with Future. Uh yes. Yeah. That's yeah. a good song. That's yeah, a great song. Uh look, the whole the, the album's rad and I'm I'm amped about it. But uh Taylor Swift's is coming out soon and that's gonna be all over with. Uh oh. she's still with Travis Kelsey, by the way. They were at a a yeah. bar. She was yelling at him. Yeah. Can you pull up that picture? Did you see that? I think she's just an animated gal. That's but... what I think. And they caught the wrong frame. It's kind of like pressing the live button on your, he... your iPhone when you take a picture. You could scroll through and find a yeah. frame where your kid's sad in it or they're smiling. Right. But this but is going around everywhere. I don't. He is. No, I think this actually caption describes exactly what's happening. Okay, okay what it, read the caption. Well, yeah, this is our, our friend Nick Adams. The, oh, uh, the, the alpha, alpha male, yeah. Uh, yeah. Taylor Swift was spotted at a restaurant verbally berating Travis Kelsey yesterday. A nearby <laughs> patron reported that Taylor was aggressively pushing Travis to hold out of training camp and demand a new contract to help her fund her upcoming album. Oh, <laughs> boy. He deserves a new contract. You know, but he is the kind of boyfriend that you have to be like, and don't. <laughs> Talk do like that do you know what i mean mm -hmm. like and don't and another thing like just this morning like don't do that right or something yeah, yeah. that's all it's yeah. not a fight 
she's just he's eating and okay, babe, and she's like. <laughs> Just don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> and that's all. It looks like she's yelling, but, you know. That is, that's it right there. That's perfect, actually. Pop that up one more time and just say, and don't over that. Yeah. So, oh. And don't. <laughs> just when you're brushing your teeth, just like point, you know what I mean? Like point the face a little bit more towards the sink. And then look, some sprays on the mirror. Fine, just wipe it up after. It's babe, babe, yeah. babe, and then it. Go, I love, right. I love you, that's but what one of, that's what like, that fight please. Is. That's what that fight that's is all. right there. That's a perfect that's summation all. of this. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, is there a reader's post underneath it? What do they add there? This, the context. Uh, there's a community. They added a community note. What does it say? This claims entirely fabricated. Patrons oh, at the God. restaurant report that they were in good spirits, having yes. a normal. But conversation. But if you follow Nick Adams, you know what Nick Adams is. No, yeah. totally. But this picture has been everywhere, yeah. uh, and people it's have been just, saying the same thing. It's so a funny pick. It is, and this does feel like uh, an iPhone Live where you just back yes. it up and find the frame where she's fucking crazy looking. I'm or sure. Or she's talking fun. about someone else, like. You know? Yeah. She's super. She animated. could be talking about Meghan Markle. That's how I was in the beginning of the show, right? True. Yeah, you Seems were crazy. like I was mad at you. You were crazy. But I was talking to you about someone else that I don't you like. You were talking right? at me, yeah. Uh, you were crazy that's this all. morning. That's all that's going on here. Unhinged, some might say. Out of you. I mean, really fucking unhinged over there, Jesse. And it's been nuts. They're just too, both of them are too, her and especially are just too professional to fight and pu- they they just I think so never too. Yeah, would. Yeah, yeah. Also, what's he even going to get angry about? Nothing. Him no. No. She, her maybe, uh, but, but I mean I guess that my better my point is what would he even do? Do you know like he's right. just along for the ride almost. Right. He's happy to be there. Okay, babe, yeah. whatever. He's happy to be nominated, so it's just kind of like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah. If anyone's going to be mad, it's her, and then he's just going to take it. And she would never ever do anything like that. No, but uh, this in public, this schedule though that they've got, it's got to be insane because she's on a fucking full world tour right now. So trying to meet up between all these cities and everything else, holy shit! Dude. They're in the Bahamas, right? But uh, I, what did she fi- just finish Australia or something like that? Yeah, she was in uh, Asia for sure. She was yeah. in Asia for a while, then uh, went to the Super Bowl, and then she was in Australia. And it's, I mean, it's a massive worldwide tour. Yeah, yeah. So him and her flying back and forth to all this crazy shit is, uh, it's going to take a it's toll. Fun. He's three years away from being a house husband. Yeah. I know. I like, know. You know, working three hours a day on his podcast. Yeah. And yeah. raising the kids. You think if, if they three-peat this year, the Chiefs, that he walks away after this this year? Dude, maybe. Could. Why that's, not? I think that's his ultimate goal at this point. Get, he'd have, get married and have a podcast and just travel around the world. He genuinely loves her music. Yeah, so. your wife is Taylor Swift. You have four Super Bowl rings, the first three-peat ever. Yep. You're an uh, a obvious first ballot Hall of Famer. Nothing left to prove at that point. <laughs> yeah, what else is there? I, yeah. I agree, Bob. I would you walk and away. your brother just retired, doing a fucking podcast, hanging out. Yep, because yeah. you and I watched uh, Giselle on E.T. last night on Entertainment Tonight, and you know they were asking about Tom Brady, and, and she was getting choked up and all that shit, and then uh, thinking back to it and just looking back at the last couple years of it, if he just would have walked off the fucking field after winning the Super Bowl, perfect life. Tom Brady, perfect life, all that other shit. I was just like, no, fuck you. I'm gonna I'm gonna try one more here. And it's like, oh Christ. All right, bud. Blew up his entire life. He wizards. I know. <laughs> For no reason. He could have walked Rolls off, off the tongue, huh, Bob? I know. <laughs> he got his revenge. He got out of New England. He got away from the coach and the owner. Wanted on his own with a team that fucking sucks down there. And he could have just walked off a goddamn mm. champion. And just mm-hmm. pressed it. So maybe he does. Maybe he he wins this this upcoming year. Nobody from the NFC is going to give them any fucking problems. So maybe he wins this year and then just walks off a fucking champion and just gets married. Right. I, if I'm if I'm if I'm his buddies, I would tell him the same thing. His brother just retired. Yeah. Do the podcast. Go to Taylor Swift shows. I mean, she's got a double album coming out, so those tours are going to keep going, friend. You know, right? Travel the world, bro. Yeah, but he can't be around her too much. <laughs> yeah, that's what for her sake. Yeah, yeah, for her sake. But also, like, I don't know if, I don't know if he can be 
with Taylor Swift and not do anything himself that she can go to. Then he end up like Jay Cutler. Yeah, yeah like that would be Jay. hard. I don't know. Or maybe he's just like, dude, fuck it. I don't care. Remember when like you have to be a really confident dude. To Cavalier be cool was just like, you don't do anything. And he's like, well, that's he's the like, point. <laughs> yeah, that's the point like, of retirement. Money. Yeah, he has, so he has, that's the point of retirement. Yes. I, I don't have to do anything. We have enough money. Yeah. It's like, all right, cool. Well, they, she, and now I'm buy funding a or your entire... Jewelry, Everything. clothing line, all that other shit. Yeah. Doesn't give a fuck, that guy. Guy's great. I want him on the show. Does he do podcasts? He I'd does. love to get good. He had I'd love his to own for a Cutler. second. Yeah, but he probably doesn't care enough. He, he didn't. He was too lazy and yeah. he just didn't do it. It was like supposed to come out every week and it was just like, well. Yeah. Uh, like whenever <laughs> he felt like it. Yeah. I mean, it was hard enough getting Erlacher on the podcast, right? Between go- rounds of golf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's like if you don't need it yeah why but no i know you gotta have something to do though you gotta, you gotta have something to do with your life especially an athlete you retired this young i think he's only 33 who Ta- uh travis Kelsey. Travis. yeah so you know let's say he plays one more year and retires at 34 you're looking at th- roughly 50 years of retirement <laughs> that's nuts to think about right um she's not slowing down though she's a fucking train they're not stopping Taylor Swift, man. Yeah, Snake even Jay. you and I were talking about it. Where uh, we were talking about concerts last night, it was like, oh yeah, we'll take uh, you could take our daughter to see whatever the next you know new girl is. And I was like, shit, it might still be Taylor Swift at that age. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Honestly, this is it needs to happen too because he's gonna get her pregnant, and then you're gonna get pictures of him walking around with a baby and a baby Bjorn at a playground or whatever. Yeah. This is gonna drive millions of oh. women. This is, the, this, is the, this is man's final play. It sure this yeah. is. It's gonna drive millions of women to want to A, get married and have babies, and mm-hmm. B, be the breadwinner. Yep. Go out to work while dad, and then we're just gonna bro down and- Yeah, we're having a uh, population crisis, so this is the the. And New if, world order's playing. And any time we could, have a crisis, who do we call Taylor to Swift. save it? Yeah. Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yeah. Say, hey, could you just like get married and like have a baby and be super normie about it? Inspire all those and women. Just, yeah, just so they start. Oof. Yeah, doing something again. Settling down. Eesh. Uh, speaking of settling down, we watched the Bachelor at finale last night, or Bachelor. I'm sorry. Bachelor. Bachelor. That's still mm. going. Finale. Yeah. yeah, it was actually the best I season know. they've ever had. Oh. Um, I always watch it with you to mm-hmm. uh, to get into it, and we can hang. Dude was a fucking pimp. Uh, voted the best bachelor of all time, which he was. God damn, he just made no mistakes. That motherfucker, dude, married the right person, did all the things, and got out of there clean. I've never seen it happen before. Came off well. Oh yeah, okay. I, I, but and every single girl he broke up with was just like, I get ah. It. Which Thank is you. Boring, Thank you for the dignity right? and respect. <laughs> Which just is like, boring, right? No. I, and he's like, like in I enjoyed love, it. And it was a totally normal girl. And they're great. Nobody's mad at him. Both hot. What are we doing? Yeah. So it, it was good. It was good. Now, the Chinese chick who's going to be the, uh, the, the new bachelorette here coming up, she's got a fucking wild side. So that one's going to get wild, I have a feeling. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if she's Chinese. Asian. Yeah. Um, you know, look, it's I lump them all in. I don't know. I don't I know. know Tran is Vietnamese. We know you do. Is it? Uh, G- I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think when they met her parents, I think they said Vietnamese. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. So uh, good for her, but uh, she's a crazy one. She's super hot. Yeah. She, yeah, and I think she parties. She parties. So they they were doing shots at the end of the episode nice. live on air last night. Let's do it. So I mean, this one's gonna get wild. So if okay, you're looking good. for a wild one, this is probably the one. Okay, good. She's talked about like crazy sex a bunch throughout the episodes and all that other shit, and you were like, all right, well, this one's gonna be off the fucking rails. Okay. So that one should be all right. Yeah. I don't want to see any more of the old ones though. They kept popping up those old heads. The Golden Bachelor. So Jesse and I refused to watch the Golden Bachelor because we felt bad. And we finally saw who he ended up with, and that woman looks like she has one foot in the fucking grave. I think they should combine all these shows that have been on network TV forever. The Bachelor, Amazing Race, Survivor. Mm-hmm. Just mash it all together into one show. They have. They kind of do. Yeah, they, they've, in, they've in crossed over, yeah. but um, Some of the Bachelors uh, have been on, Bachelorettes have been on Amazing Race um, over the years. Uh, that Boston Rob has been on goddamn everything. Every show you could ever imagine. 
I remember Boston that from my childhood. Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Boston Rob, dude. Boston Rob. Yeah. He wore, he wore the, the hat and he had the Boston accent. He wore he a fucking Red Sox hat. That's every what well, was job. his, like, first... Survivor. Survivor. Oh, okay. Survivor. Oh, and then he yeah, did, yeah, 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 yeah. I, then he got married to somebody from Survivor. Oh, and then okay. went back for Survivor All-Stars. And then the wife ended up winning. Oh, and then he ended okay, up winning yeah. an amazing race. Um, and they did, I don't know how many amazing races together. Not a bad career. Gotcha. Yeah, it he, really stretched You want to talk out, about huh? living out the machine? He lived it out in the machine, dude. Yeah. Boston Rob. Uh, but what was cool was the girl with the, uh, the cochlear implants mm -hmm. bowing out and saying hey i don't want to do the fucking bachelorette i'm i'm all good there. yeah um turning down the bachelorette yeah. love that's to see a, it actually that's a great move well at least you know she's a real person yeah, you're like dude. hey dude i'm not i'm not i'm not feeling the best after doing this and uh i'm gonna take some time with my family and, and everybody else so i'll see you guys later i like it i've never seen it happen before just doesn't seem like a great way to meet the one well, we were, you know, it's funny well, you asked that. We were talking about it last night. I wonder if, like, these, like, Love is Blind and Bachelor are, like, going to turn into the way people, a better option for dating. Because aren't dating apps, like, a big dumpster fire? Yeah, I haven't been on in a while. You know what I mean? So it's just, like, not safe. You don't know what's going on. At least in these fucking shows, background Everyone's check. Vetted. Yeah. Everyone's vetted. Background check. You cameras like, are everywhere. Cameras and everything around. Yeah. You get time. Yeah, but then you get engaged to somebody three days after they fucked two other people. Yeah, True. but I mean, look, if you're looking at the dating app shit, how many of those... Women or dudes, yeah, but when you're are just at a certain right age, and boning over and over and over again, and everything. that yeah. could 100% happen. Or you could date a couple people at one time and then choose, you know, kind of choose one person, right? Like in the real world, yeah, isn't that what happens? Yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. to, sure, you're sure. in the talking stage with people, sure, then it's a situation, yeah, and talking is what do I know, boning, yeah, yeah. What do I know? Yeah. Nothing. No, it's because we, we, we didn't have dating apps and all that shit. You and I have been together for, what, 13 years now at this point? Yeah. So we m missed that, luckily. But maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, the wild part about it was every girl was genuinely in love with that dude. And uh, they were all disappointed. And <laughs> So maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really sure. Um, or... Maybe you, you know, get invited on a plane with a, a famous rapper. And yeah. that's how you meet. And you guys have a relationship over years with uh, five to ten dudes, you know, every other weekend. And you do a bunch of drugs and trying to figure it out. Is that Diddy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure is. Sure is. Because uh, even that Cassie chick who filed that lawsuit, they were together off and on for 10, 12 years. So who fucking knows, man? Uh, wild times ahead, though. And it's fun. Uh, pop on over to uh, Drinking Bros this afternoon. We got we have a general on the show today. What? Yeah, a real live general. A real live general. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who were watching on YouTube, internet went out here. It's not great. There's tons of construction. Uh, obviously, we did the show with uh, TechStot the other day and all that other shits. It's getting worse and worse and worse. I drove down there this morning. Rob probably... also got a text message right before we went live that Spectrum was having outages. Yeah, they sure are because there's uh, 50,000 tractors that are tearing up the earth about a half mile up the road. It took me an hour and 10 minutes to get downtown, and it was eight miles, eight miles. So not stoked about that. A right. uh, fun little sign that was left up on accident was uh, there was two roads that they hadn't closed off yet. Both of them said 290. Mm. So watched 10 cars uh, have a mm. nice pileup on that. What, Luckily, did it nobody drop was, into nothing? No, it, oh. it ended. It said road closed. Oh, oh, oh. Um, mm -hmm. And it looked like the middle road. Uh, luckily. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I go luckily. Past it every day now. Luckily. Yes. People it changes every night. had braked in time and nobody got injured in this, mm -hmm. but they didn't close up the gap. And so even I was confused and I was like, oh shit, right or left, right or left, right or left. And I chose right. I was correct. The guys that went left were not yeah. correct. And holy no, shit. It legitimately changes every day. Yes. Yeah. With the, the road. It's like, all right, this road's open today, tomorrow, maybe not. It is unbelievably dangerous and they are digging up the fucking earth about a half mile up the road. So forgive us for any internet troubles. Um, you know, I, nothing we can do about it here, but this is a massive fucking highway that's going in 
with multiple overpasses and all this other shit. So it's it's strange to see. Yeah. Um, this was this is definitely not the Austin that I remember from back in the day, and it's starting to feel like Atlanta. Right. Growing up as a kid in Atlanta, where you just had these massive fucking highways, and you're like, holy, you just lived in built, construction. Getting built over your house and shit. Every, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everywhere. So forgive us for the internet issues. We apologize. Uh, this will be uploaded shortly here on YouTube. Audio show always comes out right after this show is over. Uh, while you're there, rate the show a five star and leave a quick review on iTunes. Also, head on over to Spotify and do the same thing. And then, Jesse, uh, subscribe to Crime Corner. Crime Corner, the. <laughs> yeah! The show that we recorded for Patreon. Well, we, one more extra episode mm -hmm. and then the show that we recorded for patreon will come out next week and all video and then it'll be week after week after right that. and all video will be on patreon and uh, audio will be on spotify itunes all the other stuff it's called crime corner with jesse wiseman and uh, download it subscribe do the ratings all that other stuff uh, that's what helps drive it up the charts and uh, so far so good we got a slow launch going who you guys have on the show what are you talking about this week uh, this week we are doing, uh, a case, I think we're either doing the cap, oh, the one that we recorded already? Yeah. Um, what did we do? You just recorded on Friday. Oh my God, I just <laughs> recorded it Friday. I drink during the show, guys, as you know. Serial killer, Todd Kolhep. There you go. Real estate, serial killer. All right. Great cover up. Hire people to cover, you know, to I come like clean the listings. Sure. Upstanding dude, and then you could just have a container with padlock, or he's otherwise known as the Amazon review killer too. If you're looking, that oh, that's up. fun. I like mm -hmm. that. I like that. He would leave reviews about the things that he used to torture. So, like, he would okay. review the padlock. That he used to lock people up and stuff like that. That's awesome. Just to let Amazon know. Yeah. Great product. Great product. Loved it. Works well. Works well. Uh, that'll drop 8 o'clock EST every Wednesday night, correct? Uh, so look for new episodes of that. Super excited for you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Download Crime Corner. Appreciate tuning in, kids. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Revolucion. Buenos tardes, everyone. Good afternoon.